exit, don't I? So I can turn on the voice recorder. Yeah. Okay. Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Ooh, so exciting. So I am finally, finally getting this wig review video done, okay? Uh, I did it already and I deleted it, so imagine my frustration. Um, it's been two months since I've had this wig and I wanted to do this review. It arrived on my birthday, which I was so excited about. Um, like too excited to wait to do this on camera. Obviously, if I had waited, it would have been up much earlier, but I couldn't even wait. So I had to open it, I had to try it on, and I went to a restaurant. Well, we didn't actually go, we went in the car and I was just like feeling myself with the wig. So, yeah. So I got the wig, it came in the mail. So the wig is from Lazy Gal on Etsy and she is from Canada. So I was really excited. It's black owned, woman owned. Um, yeah. Uh, Canada's pretty close. I like it more, honestly. Uh, anyway, so this is the wig. Um, it is very nice, okay. Um, does it feel synthetic? Yes, it does. However, comma, it also feels nice, you know? No complaints, honestly. This wig was very cheap. It was like $40 maybe, 30 something. I don't really remember because it was like in Canada dollars and I don't, I don't know the, the conversion. So, um, the link will be in the description and I don't know, this is just cute, like, I don't wear wigs because I'm, you know, on a hair growth journey, okay? Not on a hair edges breaking off journey. I'm not looking to do that. I'm not, that's not my goal. I'm not willing to risk my edges. Like I just, I can't. So we're not on that type of journey. But when I saw this, I was like, something I can plop on my head and just go. Like, obviously I can't wear an afro, but you know, mini braids, cornrows. I haven't really done twists, but I c could probably do twists. If my hair was banded, you know, any of those, I could just plop this on my head. Also, now that I have box braids, I'm able to do this wig review for you, okay? Um, so the first time I did this review, I had cornrows, which, you know, made it easy for me to be able to pop this on my head. So that will give you the best results. Um, if you, if your hair is not able to be flattened, it will probably look bumpy and weird and you'll be able to tell, but I mean, you could still probably do it, but I recommend having some sort of flattened hairstyle so you can just you know and it looks a little bit more natural um so yeah i love the wave pattern that this has it's very soft um so when it arrived the ends of the hair were straight and it wasn't the best look in my opinion i was like why would it not have the wave pattern all the way down? So what I did was I just braided it, about five braids, um, put a little elastic on it, dipped it in some hot water, and then it was, you know, the curl pattern uh, is a little bit more towards the end. So yeah, I appreciate that. Um, another thing, this uh, beanie wig, is lined with like 
fleece on the inside so it's not like a satin material or silk or anything but it's definitely not like something that's gonna be rubbing against your hair causing friction and dryness this is like this is acrylic so you know probably somewhere in the middle in terms of preserving the health and moisture in your hair and you know I, j I just love a hat you know I don't get to wear hats very often anymore because my hair is so voluminous and thick but I love a hat so this is perfect for winter um, fall maybe some cold spring days uh, we did have like fourth winter here in North Carolina the other day and then the next day it was just like blazing you know so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the wig all right girl now most of you are not gonna have hair <laughs> right? that's like super long and you're trying to put on a wig but this is flat so I'm able to just show you what kind of it would look like. All right. <laughs> and you know, it's much easier when you don't have hair, obviously. Um, don't have really long box braids to hide under it. All right, so. The beanie wig. Super duper nice. Um, so, a few things that I, I don't know, am not the biggest fan of when it comes to this wig is the washing process because it is synthetic. You can't like, and it's also attached to the hat so you can't like put it in the washer and the dryer because it'll probably melt so what I did was I just took it with me in the shower I washed the hair and the hat with shampoo and then I also used conditioner um, that I don't really use on my hair anymore so you know not wasting money just using up the product that is already there um yeah and another thing is the band on this wig it goes all the way through the hat so it goes from the weft of the hair through the hat you can see here and it's pretty tight and i don't have a big head i have a probably small to medium head so if it's tight on me i can only imagine that it would be super tight for a lot of people so i don't know if that's something that could be changed if you requested it it was like one size fits all so it didn't have multiple sizes where you could like get a bigger one but maybe i don't know you could contact the person and be like hey can i get this in a bigger size so also the hair it is a bit tangly but you know not super concerned 
Um, I'm not trying to like brush it every day, but you know, it's just something to take note of. I really like this wig. I, I wore it multiple times. Okay. <laughs> when I exercised, I wore it. I put it in two braids and I just, you know, it was, it was great. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep wearing this wig. It's very handy. You can just plop it on and take it off at the end of the day and you're good. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, that is it for this review and this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.